Okay, we'll be removing the high pressure fuel pump. We'll be trying to rebuild this junk again. And uh, before I do, just want to ask everybody out there if your sensor is flipped over like this or is it with the clip showing? All right, we're going to get started. All right, guys, so struggling to take this part out. So I'm just going to just go ahead and disconnect. Um, everything else so that um we can get to it all right guys um i'm not sure if that's the cam that looks like shit as you can see this is the integrated engineering piston and everything fully assembled Oops. there's a retaining lock push it out so you guys can see how it's assembled so I'm pretty sure there's only one way to assemble this this is uh, the old one here and uh, as you can see the retaining that is there so it's pretty self-explanatory on how to rebuild this all right you can see the retainers aren't in I'm gonna have to push it with my hand and let those suckers slip in all right give me a second so while I do that all right there you go as you can see it's flush Okay, ready to go in. Okay, torqued it down to 40. I'm now going to reassemble everything. And this is what it looks like so far. Alright, guys. My only other question was when putting in the PCV holes, I'm not quite sure if it's this end. I don't know if you guys know there's that smaller hole in there versus this end which is uh, wide open I'm gonna go ahead and put the wide open side over here and uh, hopefully that's it if anyone on the net sees that this is wrong please message me let me know all right okay everything's uh, back together now I'm gonna go ahead and prime the car turn it on five times for 10 seconds each time turn it back off and uh, I mean not fully turn it on but just turn it on to ignition and uh, we'll see what happens all right wish me good luck all right dude go for an ignition all right hold on give it a few seconds All right, go.